Complet Mathematics for Cambridge IGCSE, 5th edition, Chapter Algebra 1. Into this lesson, we are going to cover negative numbers, directed numbers, variables and formulae, precedence order, and linear equations. Any number less than zero is called a negative number. Negative numbers look like deep and mysterious thing. Like I can buy two chocolates, but how can I buy minus two chocolates? The price of an item could be 5, 9, 20, etc., but we never see the price in negative. When we learn counting, we count positive numbers. So, what is a negative number even mean? You know, we probably have encountered negative numbers in our everyday life. Yeah, it sounds strange and abstract to you. Let's just think different context. Let me give you an example. If it is a chilly day and the temperature represents 3 degrees Celsius, and the weather department who can predict the weather says that tomorrow it will be 5 degrees Celsius less. So, what will be the temperature tomorrow? If we start going back from 3 to 5 steps, then we end up at minus 2. Directed number means a number with a sign. In fact, all number are a directed number. When a sign not mentioned with it, means it is a positive number. A directed number must have a magnitude like 5, 10, 10,000, or 0, etc. And it must have a sign, it either positive or negative. All real numbers, including integers, rational, irrational, are directed numbers. There are certain rules applied on the operations of directed numbers. Addition. To add two directed number of the same sign, the addition takes place and sign remains the same. In order to add two directed numbers of different sign the subtraction takes place, lower number subtracted from higher number, and the resultant sign will be the sign of higher number. Subtraction. For subtraction there is one rule, change its sign of second value, the value that needs to be subtracted, and perform addition. Multiplication. If two number of same sign are multiplied or divide the resultant would positive. If two number of different sign are multiplied or divide the resultant would negative. Addition examples. When we add plus 5 and plus 3 we got plus 8. When we add minus 5 and minus 9 we got minus 14. When we add plus 5 and minus 3 we got plus 2. When we add plus 5 and minus 9 we got minus 4. Subtraction examples. When we subtract plus 5 and plus 3, we actually change the sign of 3 and perform add, hence we got plus 2. When we subtract minus 5 and minus 9, we change the sign of 9 and perform add, and we got plus 4. To subtract plus 5 and minus 3, change the sign of 3 and add them, we got plus 8. To subtract plus 5 and minus 9, change the sign of 9 and perform add, we got plus 14. Multiplication examples. When we multiply plus 5 and plus 3 we got plus 15. When we multiply minus 5 and minus 9 we got plus 45. When we multiply plus 5 and minus 3 we got minus 15. When we multiply plus 5 and minus 9 we got minus 45. When a calculation repeated many times it is often helpful to use a formula. Publisher use a formula to work out the selling price of book based on the production cost and the expected sale of the book. Sometimes the set of value is too large to write on paper, like all integral multiple of 3. These values can be easily represented into a formula that is n plus 3 where n is an integer. An equation may have one or more terms which are connected with operators. Each term is composed with a coefficient and a variable with a degree. Degree may be zero, more or even negative. In the given term 5 is coefficient, x is variable and 2 is power of x. Precedence order or bodmas. Brackets have the highest order, then indices, then multiplication, and division and finally the addition and subtraction. If we don't follow it, we may get wrong results. Into the given example, first we need to solve the multiplication. 
then solve the addition and subtraction. Otherwise we get wrong results. A linear equation is an equation between two variables that gives a straight line when plotted on a graph. A linear equation is an algebraic equation of the form y equals mx plus b, involving only a constant and a first order, linear, term, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Occasionally, it is called a linear equation of two variables, where y and x are the variables. If we put y equals zero we got a horizontal line. And if we put x equals zero then we got a vertical line. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe our channel for more learning videos.